alert mother. Alert mother now. Somebody better tell your girl Amber Rose to <laughs> to ask El Varner to go on to her new VH1 talk show after this Jesus. Yes, she does. Yes, she does need to. Yes, she does. Because your girl El Varner, the sexy singer, has some very choice words for sluts. I don't know how else to say it. She's sick and tired of the sluts showing off their asses and farting in everybody's face. Okay, maybe she didn't say it like that. But this slut culture shit is going too far. And Elle Varner is taking a stance. She needs to get together with Aisha Curry. Because psh, the way that they got mad at Aisha Curry for talking shit about the thoughts. You know, put them two light-skinned girls together. <laughs> and they're shaming these whores. <laughs> Getting paint thrown on them. Like when somebody wears a fur around PETA. That's basically what would happen. So she posted this meme where it says... When you interrupt a girl's school day to force her to change clothes or send her home because her shorts are too short or her bra straps are visible, you were telling her that making sure boys have a, quote, distraction-free learning environment is more important than her education. Instead of shaming girls for their bodies, teach boys that girls are not sexual objects. And then I'm going to read to you what a comment says. Well, let me just say that right there was pure BS. I'm going to get back to that in a minute. She went on to say this. This is the most ridiculous thing I've seen in a long time. 2016 we have grown women out here promoting quote slut culture and validating their personal choices and actions behind phrases like quote slut shaming etc if you want to be loose or provocative then be that but do you really need to encourage young innocent impressionable girls to wear shorter shorts and show their bra straps in school these are the same women throwing around words like quote unquote feminism and quote unquote women's empowerment shaking my head Let's be 100% real here. Call it birds and bees, human nature, whatever. But each gender was born with body parts arguably made for procreation and exchanging pleasures. The average girl will be of childbearing age at 14 and boys of the same age experience completely natural raging hormones. Kids are curious and mischievous enough without us shoving sex down their throats. So, <laughs> deep throating. <laughs> so if we can encourage these kids who luckily don't live in the dark ages or in times where little girls were married off to be someone's property, since these young girls, challenging as it may be at times, have access to the same education and jobs as men, which wasn't even the case 60 years ago and less for minorities, does it really hurt to encourage them to dress for success, focus on their free education, and preserve their innocence a little while longer? End quote. Damn, El Varner. You don't put them sluts in their place in such a nice, sweet, intelligent way. El Varner said, hold up, wait a minute. And the hoes had to wait a minute. Uh, they had to wait a minute. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be offended by me saying that, but let's keep it real here. I'm going to show you how you are some hoes if you're offended by this right here. Let's go back to that meme. It said, when you interrupt the girl's school day to force her to change clothes or send her home because her shorts are too short or her bra strap are visible, you were telling her that making sure boys have a, quote, distraction-free learning environment is more important than her education. Okay, so here's the deal. Do all girls' schools have the exact same rules? Are girls sometimes attracted to other girls and boys attracted to boys sometimes? So why would they have the same rules at an all-girls school if it has to do with making boys look at them in a sexual manner? Maybe because it's not appropriate dress and nobody in their right mind wants to see you dress that way in public. I mean, is that a possibility? <laughs> I mean, they're making things see seem so cut and dry. I know that they didn't use too many words and whatnot, but they were definitely trying to convey a certain message, which is that as a young girl, if you want to be a whore, then you should be allowed to. And nobody should say anything to you. Hell, nobody should even think that you're a slut or a whore because that's shaming of you no matter what the age no matter the environment you know hell what's next nudity in the schools do you want everybody to be nude the teacher standing up there 
in front of the class with her titties out and whatnot. You know, with a little piece of chalk on her nipple, grabbing her boob and writing and shit. I mean, come on now, Jesus. I mean, where does the insanity stop? Remember, Su what was her name? Susan Powers from back in the day? Stop the insanity! That's what these fools need to do. What they're essentially saying is either you're on one side or the other. Either you're for freedom of sexual expression or you're slut shaming. It's very cut and dry. It's very black or white. You know, it's either one or the other. And it's not really quite that simple. But at the end of the day, man, come on. Do we really benefit from young girls going to school dressed as prostitutes? And what does it have to say about a young woman who wants to wear booty shorts and <laughs> show her bra straps as a teenager in high school? Like, what does it really say about you as a person, about your self-worth? I think that all of this is just disturbing. But thank you, L. Varner. I may have not always agreed with you, and I may have talked some shit about you in the past about the whole boss up interview about dating drug dealers and then marrying a doctor when you're in your 30s and whatnot yeah that was me i went off at the time but you're on point this time so i totally agree and elvarna is fine as a mudger fudger but anyways excuse my thirst that tongue is looking delicious right now but anyways just because i think that elvarna is fine and just because i think that what she said was proper and right doesn't mean that you agree with the jesus let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. Her hair, her lips, her tongue, all of that. And what she was saying, Jesus. Woo! Thank goodness in about an hour or two, then 5011 bottles of lotion will be here because I'm going to Instagram and going ham. Meat Magazine. Oh, one more thing before I go. I just had to turn my microphone back on. <laughs> Don't slut shame me, okay? Just because a guy is sleeping with four or five fingers at the same time. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. <gasps> Meet Magazine.